This is a Game Caviar production. Alright, new game for the channel, Fuse. Game that I picked up today, I, it came out like yesterday, I don't know what happened. It, it came out today, yesterday, I got it today. So for me, it came out today, but for the rest of the world, well not the rest of the world, because I think it comes out on the 31st in the UK, but uh, it came out yesterday. This is a game that has a lot of uh, tendencies that resemble Gears of War and some Borderlands, kind of. Uh, basically, you're with a special forces team. This is futuristic, and this is the first mission where you go down and you have to uh, go through and try to secure some secret weapons, and this is like some sort of military research division that's underground so you and your team uh, take a helicopter you helicopter and you go down and you figure out that this place is under attack by all these uh, soldiers and high-tech weapons like these things right here called crawlers and it's crazy it's a lot of action I will say that it is a lot of action it is a lot of shooting there are some sort of there is some teamwork but the good thing about this is that you can play with up to four of your friends co-op that's where more of the teamwork will come in because right now i'm playing by myself and the drawback to that is you have to do everything like you have to hack doors you have to uh let's see here you and somebody else has to open up doors but it doesn't initiate into you the character that you play uh, goes and actually initiates that action event there was a part in this level where we had to uh, sneak up behind enemies and uh, kill them knife them melee them and it sounded it, it was set up so that everybody would go their separate ways and take an enemy and kill them but in reality the character that i'm playing with this female right here i ended up doing that I think her name, excuse me, I think her name is Naya. I ended up doing that. Now, if, if you're playing co-op, it, it's not going to be that way. Hopefully, if you have a team that's not full of douchebags, right here, I got kind of stupid. I got mixed up with my controls, and I got knocked down. See, this is just, this is from Gears of War right here. If you're a Gears of War fan, or if you played Gears of War, you will uh, recognize that right there. Uh, the down but not out where you know you're down but you're not dead so somebody can come and revive you the graphics in this game look decent they are, they actually look pretty good i like the shadows i like the lights and like the vibrant uh, colors of the fire and the difference between the textures uh like the floor and when you're in the main corridor you can definitely tell and the uh the ambient light uh, the reflections and such those look good the character models are they they they're good. They're not subpar or anything. They look they're not the best that I've seen. This isn't like Heavy Rain or something where you have amazing character models, or uh, L.A. Noir where you have ex uh, um, exceptional facial expressions. But it is something that is on par and slightly above what you would normally uh, what you have normally seen on this current generation. So I don't have any problems with the graphics in this game. Sounds. The guns sound good. You can tell uh, if a person is far away while they're talking. You know, the stereo sound and all of that is pretty good. It's not that much ambient noise to go along besides the uh, occasional uh, sparks from the lights or things like that. So, uh, don't. If you're really big in ambient light, I mean, ambient sounds, I don't know whether there will be, but there may be that one person that just gets off on ambient sounds. This really isn't a game for you. It's there, it's evident, but it's not uh, really, it doesn't really pack a punch, so to speak. Uh, if, as you can see, my character is running around. I'm picking up extra credits, fuse credits, uh, and extra XP. Your character does level up which allows you to use power-ups that allow you to get like more ammo for your weapons and your fuse weapon which is a special weapon that each character has that has different powers and that's where the borderlands aspect of this game comes into play uh where your character you get leveled up 
and then you go and use those level up credits to uh, benefit your character one thing that I, I figured out actually by accident when I was trying to upgrade my character is that if you hold down select I'm on PS3 so it's select but if you hold down select uh, you can actually switch between characters and I thought that was really cool uh, if they tell you that in this game, I missed it, uh, but as far as I know, it doesn't tell you that, so you're not locked into the character that you pick in the beginning of the game. You can literally hold down select or back if you're on Xbox 360 and pick another character. I thought that was pretty awesome, and that's just and, and that's something that I want to experiment with as the game progresses, because each character has a special weapon that has a, a different power. Like the one guy has uh, the shield that comes out that you can stand behind and you can shoot through the shield, but the enemies can't shoot you. And uh, I think the, the other girl has a gun that turns enemies into crystal and you can either like go up and melee them and shatter them or you can shoot them and they shatter. Uh, another thing, if you get headshots or certain combos between the special weapons, then you get extra points for that. That's something that's pretty cool. And... Uh, while I'm talking about cool parts of this game, they do have a game mode that's similar to Horde where you and four people uh, they you you work together as a team and they just send wave and wave of enemies at you and I believe that you can get credits to that that you can upgrade your character. I haven't upgraded I, I, I know when you level up you can upgrade that way, but you get like like money and I haven't been able to use that yet because I've been just trying to play through this first mission I will say that I've been playing for about an hour maybe a little over an hour and the first mission is still going on if that's any uh, indication of how the game is then this game will take uh, hours to beat and I'm on normal normally I play these games on easy because I want to blow through them but I don't between now and when the last of us comes out i really don't have another game to play so i pumped it up to normal just to give me more of a challenge so i could put more time into the game no actually i did buy metro last uh metro what is it last light or whatever the new metro game which is awesome i'm gonna do a review on that too but fuse is a game that a lot of people who played gears of war will recognize and and most likely you you'll love this game i mean it's a different take on Gears of War. It's not Gears of War. It's not made by the same people who made Gears of War. It's made by Insomniac. So the game itself is is made by a company that that is known. And it's not some new company or some fly-by-night company. A lot of detail has been put into this game. And you can tell just by playing it. So my recommendation, not having its recommendation, is buy this game. And uh, specifically for the co-op play because like i said you can play by yourself but you will not get the same experience that you would if you play with three other people or even two other people or even one other person you know the computer will not be able to uh, replicate another human player and if you have a full party of people that you know or people that you meet online or whatever then it will it will make this game so much more better or so much better not so much more better I'm pretty sure more better is not proper. But it will make the game awesome. More awesome. I'm pretty sure I can say more awesome. The melee that uh, this chick right here that I'm playing with is pretty awesome. You can just, like, stab people if you get next to them. Like, if you duck, duck behind somebody and they're standing behind the cover, you just you can stab them and you can slam their head down. And that's pretty cool. That's more than just the old, you know, just hit them and they, they, they fall over, so... Like I said, a lot of attention and detail and attention to detail has been put into this game. And I don't really have any complaints besides the fact that if you play by yourself, you pretty much got you pretty much have to uh, lead the team. See, look at that melee. That's pretty awesome. I like that. So, again, not having its recommendation is buy this game and enjoy it. I'm going to go back to playing it. Please feel free to drop a comment. And if you could, please uh, share this video uh, specifically on Facebook and Twitter and things like that or however you want to uh, share it because I really appreciate it and that gets me more views and it also allows more people to see cool games. So 
This has been Fuse, a new game for Game Caviar on PS3. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.